Hello, welcome to this short tutorial with Spatial Analyzer. Today I'll be focusing on creating a bisecting plane, an offset plane, a circle from circles relationship, and a dynamic frame. As you can see from this CAD file, the active frame is in the center line of the part. And to easily get this to align to the CAD um, is using a bisecting plane. And I've gone ahead and measured a lot of the features I'll need. Um, and to create the bisecting plane, simply name it. Go to the plane, uh, the drop down, bisecting planes. Select the features and it'll automatically create the bisecting plane. And it is dynamic in that if I highlight and go into the options of one of the planes. will update. So we'll go back because this is a, an offset of 10 thou which is slightly high. So I'll go into the options again and deselect that point. Okay and it updates. Wrong button. Now create the offset plane. Same drop down the offset and you can put in any number you want both negative and positive so say 1.5 inches okay select the plane you want and it will create the offset in relation to the normal of the plane selected right now creating the circle from circles relationship Circle drop down at the right bottom is from multiple circles. We'll ask you to select the circles you want. This will then create the pattern of those, in this instance, bolt hole. Now creating the dynamic frame. frame icon, you click on that, then you select the features you want, so Z, X, make this active, move it upwards, 2.074, And this asks you to select your nominal frame, which for instance is the CAD frame. Now this is dynamic in that it always reads to the nominal. If you want to, you can right click, execute alignment. Everything jumps, including the offset frame circle and the bisecting plane because they are all relationships so they're all dynamic and will move as you move the instrument try again execute alignment and we're back in onto the CAD Thank you very much.